Before starting, I ask you to like this video, subscribe, and at the end, share this video with your friends. Let's go! I mean, then is the uh, Challenger 3, which is the next iteration of the uh, British Army's uh, main battle tank, um, which features many um, upgrades and changes from the Challenger 2. Okay, so there's many fundamental differences with the Challenger 3 um, in comparison to its predecessor. However, for myself, I think one of the primary differences is going to be its uh, integration on the battlefield as a vehicle. One of the primary issues we faced uh, with Challenger 2 was use of combat. Um, although the idea of combat, the battlefield awareness is very good. The current or the technology at the time didn't really support it. The new uh, digital um, infrastructure, which is coming into Challenger 3, will hopefully completely change that. As a commander, you'll have a much greater battlefield awareness. Um, it will look probably a lot leaner on the battlefield, a lot quicker, and the tempo of your actions as a commander and how you plug in to the larger um, picture will be uh, just much slicker. My name is Trooper Elkins Green. I am a driver in the Royal Wessex Yeomanry for the Challenger Battle Tank. I'm a reservist and in my full-time regular civilian job, I'm a filmmaker, so I shoot a lot of brand content and things there. With the new Challenger 3 coming in, uh, the capabilities that I get as a driver is going to be the new thermal imaging cameras, both front and rear, which gives us that extra capability when on the ground. And with that, it gives us just that extra field of view, being able to operate in all conditions with a lot more ease of use than you have been able to do previously. Hi, my name is Adam Gray. I'm a reservist in the Royal Wessex Yeomanry. I am a soil and turf scientist. There is an aspect that we have a automatic tracker or tracer, so it will understand what targets are and be able to select them. So someone like us, where we currently have eight play, it's going to be a vast improvement. It's going to be uh, much more simpler, much more quicker, much more effective, and essentially with the lethality of the vehicle itself, it's going to be a massive improvement. I feel very confident with the essential digital backbone that they're trying to implement into the actual program. The fact that the army is sort of pushing this future soldier program the fact that it's trying to bring uh, sort of humans and uh, AI together, I think it's massively improved and you'll be able to see that with the future project with the CR3. Being a filmmaker, I spend a lot of time at home uh, in my room editing essentially. So being able to get out, um, get hands on, on the ground with the boys and drive something like this, it's you can't really beat it. 